Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. I wasn't really sure what to do here with Crumbledon, it's very very small, um, and there's basically one mandatory moon here, so there's not much you can do to avoid doing that. Like, you could say, don't step on the dirt, for example, but... As you can see, it's really easy to not step on the dirt, and then that's it. Uh, you can't say don't step on the tiles, because you need to step on the tiles. Um, to fight the boss, because the whole boss area is tiled. So that idea didn't quite pan out. Um, and there's not much else you can do here, so I wasn't sure what to do, but... Then I saw a challenge video recommended on, um, on YouTube. Someone beat this game... Why? Well, tried to beat this game. I don't know if they succeeded, I didn't actually watch it. Uh, but they tried to beat the game, uh, while holding the Joy-Cons in the wrong hands. So, basically the right Joy-Con, the one with the jump button and the, and the camera control and all that, in your left hand, and the left Joy-Con, which is the one with the movement analog, in your right hand. Uh, the Joy-Cons are of course built to fit into certain hands, they're sort of curved, the, um, the, um, ZL and ZR buttons are curved to fit into your hands comfortably, so it's not super comfortable this way around, and my muscle memory is not liking this at all because the game expects me to know how to do things quickly and I'd keep pressing the wrong one and say I was trying to do a dive there but I, I couldn't. There we go, there's a dive. Um, so yeah, I'm holding the Joy-Cons in the wrong hands right now and I'm gonna try to do what I can in this kingdom with the Joy-Cons in the wrong hands. <laughs> uh, it might be easier if I took off the grips, maybe, because the grips are sort of getting in the way. Mm, I'll leave them on, I'll see how I go. Uh, the camera's proving trickier to control. I had a little bit of practice off camera with this arrangement, and the fact that the camera's in the wrong spot is really very confusing. Uh, ba da ba da ba da ba! Yeah! Um, there's not much point getting that moon if you think about it, because regardless of whether we get it, we do need to get the multi-moon, because there aren't enough other moons in this kingdom to, to actually get us to three. You have to do the battle boss battle, uh, unavoidably. Uh, but you know, it's fun to get that moon anyway. Alright, um, that's about all we've got to do here, I think. We just head up this way. Okay, boss battle time. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, you just uh, pull that stake out to get the power line, and you can just get into it and launch yourself over to find the ruined dragon. Yeah, as you can see, this whole area, there's lots of dirt, but there's also lots of tiles, and it just, it just wouldn't be possible to fight the boss while only touching one of the two. You land on the dirt when you come out of that zapper there, so if you... Tried to make it, you couldn't touch any tiles, and now now you now I'm standing on the tiles. So yeah, it's it's just not possible. But yeah, with the wrong the wrong hands thing is definitely possible. So let's see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> Okay, that's one hit in. Uh, obviously it gets harder as you go, so we'll see how we do. That's the wrong music for this boss battle, that's the that's from the um Bowser fights. <laughs> oh my goodness. As you can see, I'm getting more good at this. I may get it done in just a few minutes, in which case I'll think of something else to do next. Um... I took a hit, but, you know, no biggie. Oh dear.
Oh my goodness. Give me that hot. This is the wrong music for this fight. I forget what the music for Ruin Dragon is. Which is why I'm doing that one instead. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear the sound again. I've, I've got it um, muted just so that it doesn't interfere with the uh, microphone. Since, yeah, I already pretty much know what this game sounds like, except that I've forgotten. <laughs> okay, so I beat the boss a lot more easily than I anticipated. Uh, so I could make this a really, really short video. Um, hmm. Just give me a moment. I just want to have a quick look around over here. So, let me see. You could probably... Like, if you, if you ignore that you have to land on here when you come off the power line, then I think you probably could fight the boss without having to walk on the actual dirt. Um... I don't think there's enough dirt here to be able to fight the boss without walking on the tiles. So, it, it might be possible to do it with just the dirt. No, no, not just the dirt, just the tiles. Um, but just the dirt doesn't look possible. And you'd have to forgive that you land here out of the power line because there's no other way to get over here. Um, anyway. Ba da da da. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 I remember this boss is definitely much harder crouching than it than this boss is with um inverted joy cons. As you can see, yeah, we have all the moons that are actually available here, so we're actually done here for now. Uh I think some more get unlocked once you've done that. I might just go and get some more just while we're here. If you head back over here you can actually get a couple more moons. Just, just so there's some more stuff to do in the video. Uh, there should be a rock around here somewhere. I don't know if the rock's actually spawned yet or if it's inside the other rock. I think it might be inside the other rock. Let me just have a quick look. One, two, yeah. Yeah, the other two moons we can get are the ones inside this rocket here. So let's hit the rocket. Rocket with a mustache. And try to do this as well. I forget what this one is. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Well, let's see how a 2D section goes while holding the Joy-Cons backwards, then. Oops. Uh, this is a lot easier than it was while crouching, as is the other part, so there you go. <laughs> Uh, this part's super easy, you just gotta run across like that, instead of having to jump across the blocks carefully. Uh, so that's much, much easier. There we go. Uh, you don't have to get them in the perfect position, like... You get those extra coins if you get it exactly where they want you to, but a couple of other spots will also work, so you don't have to worry too much about getting it perfect. Um, yeah, you can't really tell what the challenge is in this case, because you can't see how I'm holding the controls. But maybe you can tell from the fact that I'm a lot more clumsy than normal, and that I'm not moving the camera as much, that they're in the wrong hands. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I am holding the Joy-Cons in the wrong hands. Yeah!
Oops, that won't work. Bam. That'll work. I can't get the coins that way, but it doesn't really matter. Um. All right. <laughs> Uh, that looks really terrible, but that will actually work fine. Uh, you can jump onto the middle one from here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then you can just hop down, and then hop back up, and hop up. See? You're going to get it perfect. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the moons we can get here right now. If you look at the moon list, uh, you can say there's one more, but that's actually a B-side moon. It's kind of silly that it works that way. Uh... So yeah, uh, this video was much shorter than I expected, um, I might move on to Bowser's castle and try to do something there, I don't know. I might have a, head over there and have a quick look just to see if there's something I can think of. If not, this will be a short video. I suppose they had to make their own dragon fight, like the normal one, relatively easy. Just because it's mandatory. Um, the rematch is definitely hard. One of the harder fights that you have to do in the rematches. Ooh. Ooh. The Odyssey is restored. Oh, repaired. Whoops. Wrong word. <laughs> and it immediately takes off to go to Bowser's castle. Okay, um, the Joy-Con's definitely a lot more uncomfortable to hold this way around, so I, I might actually want to just make this a short video so I don't have to keep holding them like this. My, uh, left thumb is kind of starting to hurt from having to stretch over all these buttons and things. Mm. And it's only been a few minutes, like, I was playing, you know, maybe for 5-10 minutes before starting the video just to get some practice in. So, you know, that's, that's like 15-20 minutes of play. With the buttons the wrong way around. Anyway, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do here, experiment-wise. Uh, I might think about it a bit off-camera and see if I can come up with something. Um, sure is, Cappy. The showdown. Um. But yeah, okay, so I reckon that's probably it for this video, just so I can stop holding the Joy-Cons like this and my hand can stop hurting. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that surprisingly short thing that I thought would be a lot harder than it was. Um, next time we're going to do something here in Bowser's Castle. I haven't quite decided what yet. I'll think about it off camera a bit. Thanks for